Okay, this is how you're going to be able to add text to your document in uh, Photopea. Uh, so you click on the text tool. Uh, you just click, and then you can actually type your name. So let me just go, Mr. Ramirez. Um, now, once you've done that, you can move it in, uh, in the area that you want, and you can make it smaller if you want to. It just depends on, on what you need to do. Um, to type it in another area, you just click again, click on the text tool, click again, and then you type um, parent name. And once again, you can move that and align it to where you need it to then be. Um, you can keep on doing that for all the different areas. Um, for the mask page where you're coloring it in, you need uh, a, a text block. So I'm going to copy that. And let me delete that so you guys can see how that works. Basically, you're going to get your text tool. And to make a box, you just click on your text tool and drag to the area that you want the text to be, then be. And then you can type or paste it in there. I believe the census is important because, and you can just fill all of that out of why you believe the census is important, you know? Well, there's many reasons why the census is important, you know, to, for, for government funding, for school funding, for program funding in all the areas. Uh, the more people that they know that's living in the area, uh, the more they know about the people, the better it can be funded. So that's one of the reasons we always want to make sure we're, um, filling out our census. As far as the signature, let me scroll over here so you guys could see this. Um, I'm going to do a place. So let's go file and open and place. And here's my signature. I'm going to open it and place it. And if I look, it's right there. I can drag it down and rotate it over and make it smaller. So it's rather dark, so I'm going to edit the original picture by double clicking on it. And I'm gonna go image, adjustment, levels. And I'm gonna bring down the levels. And it makes it just brighter. And save. And I'm gonna go back to the file. So it's updated right there. And you can see my signature is there at the bottom of the page. However, what we needed to do is we need to see the information behind it. So we're going to go and go simply to multiply again, which takes away the white and leaves a signature there. And now that I can see it, it's a little too big. I can make it smaller and put it in the area and control the signature. So there you have the signature and you have how you place text on there. So uh, once you're done with that, you're going to save your files and download them and export out your JPEGs so that we can then send them in email format to the people that need all this information so that they can contact you and say, we're mailing you your $50 for winning the competition. So let's make sure you guys are all filling out the information. So thank you very much. That's how you text, put text on a document, and that's how you also place an image and multiply it to have a signature.